Let's talk about sole proprietorships. The objective of this section is to describe the advantages and disadvantages of sole proprietorships. A sole proprietorship is a business that is owned and usually operated by one person. It is the simplest form of business ownership and the easiest to start. There are approximately 24.1 million sole proprietorships in the United States, as shown in Figure 4.1. They account for 72% of the country's business firms. Sole proprietorships account for $1.3 trillion, or about 4% of total annual sales, as shown in Figure 4.2. There are five main advantages of sole proprietorship. One, ease of startup and closure. Registering the name of the business and obtaining licenses and permits are the only legal requirements to start a business. This does not require, require an attorney. Two, pride of ownership. The amount of time and hard work that the owner invests in a sole proprietorship is substantial, and the owner deserves a great deal of credit for assuming the risks and solving the problems associated with operating sole proprietorships. Three, retention of all profits. All profits earned by a sole proprietorship become the personal earnings of its owner. Thus, the owner has a strong incentive to succeed. Four, no special taxes. The sole proprietorship's profits are taxed as personal income of the owner. Thus, sole proprietorships do not pay the special state and federal income taxes that corporations do. Five, flexibility of being your own boss. The sole owner of a business is completely free to make decisions about the firm's operations. A sole proprietor can move a shop's location, open a new store, or close an old one as they see fit. There are six main disadvantages of sole proprietorships. One, unlimited liability. Unlimited liability is a legal concept that holds a business owner personally liable for all of the business's debts. If the business fails, the sole proprietor's personal property, including savings and other assets, can be seized to pay creditors. Two, lack of continuity. Legally, the sole proprietor is the business. If the owner retires, dies, or is declared legally incompetent, the business essentially ceases to exist. Three, lack of money. Banks, suppliers, and other lenders are often unwilling to lend large sums to sole proprietors. The limited ability to borrow can prevent a sole proprietorship from growing. Four, limited management skills. The sole proprietor often is a sole manager, in addition to being the sole salesperson, buyer, accountant, and on occasion, janitor. The business can suffer if in the business areas in which the owner is less knowledgeable. Five, difficulty in hiring employees. The sole proprietor may find it hard to attract and keep competent help. Potential employees may feel that there's no room for advancement in a firm whose owner assumes all managerial responsibilities. Six, beyond the sole proprietorship. The major disadvantage of a sole proprietorship is the limited amount that one person can do in a workday. One way to reduce the effect of this disadvantage is to have more than one owner.